That's at home. What's your number one piece of advice? If you're hanging your Christmas lights at home, hire somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> There's always usually a funny answer. Yeah, well, you get Clark Griswold or somebody to come out and do it. But starting to line some buildings so we can walk you through that process of how much detail goes into that part of the process. That's really good video and really fun to watch them do. Um, hey, you see what I see? Are those Christmas lights that are lit up? Get ready for a special edition Dollywood Adventure That Rock. We're going to show you the process that they go through to start outlining the window frames, the door frames, the siding, and how intricate the process is with every step we'll make. Carol. Gates. Gates. <laughs> um, since we've been involved for 15 years, it's changed a little bit over the years. It started one way and some things have changed. But essentially what we're doing is taking all of our buildings, almost all of them, and we're outlining the buildings with different color lights. Sometimes two or three light colors on the same building. And so when you have, for example, behind me here, you've got doorways and you see the whiteboards around the doors. Those are all going to get lights put on them. At the corners of the buildings, and sometimes we even do the siding of the buildings. Here's what's going in the park now. But these these lights are all, they're all LED lights. We don't use incandescent lights any longer. We did for a long time. But these lights, LED lights, of course, is what you're using around your homes, probably for anything you buy now is LED. But these lights will you can put an infinite number of these together in a long string. I mean, we can take these 50 light strands and put 20 or 30 strands together in one continuous line. Now this would obviously be plugged in somewhere. One of the things that we, that we do, turn the other way here. One of the things that we try to do is, when we, when we install the lights, we try to get the ball to be flat against the wood. We don't want the lights sticking straight out or going sideways or other. And we try to keep straight lines. Talk to them these, a little these bit. These are called happy lights. If you have a line like that, we need to twist the wire in order to get you it flat. You have to twist the wire to get the white light flat. Put about one staple between each of the, each two lights. People just want to know that a lot of times. Why am I stapling this? Well, I'm, 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 I'm doing the commentary. I was wondering if I got crossing over? Yep. So you wouldn't do this. You'd normally just go around the door. But suppose I'm going to cross here. That has to be taped off. In order to get these two would have to be taped off. We want that ball to show. We don't want any lighting right in here. So and we, we might have a space that takes 15 or 20 lights we don't want to show. So we basically take a little plastic cap and we slide it on the ball. Here, hold it. Yeah, we say please. Thank you. <laughs> and then we just take some we take some white electrical tape because we're using white wire. We wrap it around the ball and tape it to the wire like this. There is green wire lights too. <laughs> we buy these we buy these plastic caps by the, the tens of thousands. I mean I don't know what, what they what they cost. I have no idea but He's having a hard time with that angle. Where's my statement? I don't want to show up. <laughs> Being tall has this advantages sometimes. I like that. Well, I would rather be you if I was down there than I would be up here. This side now, if you wanted to do these two boards here, you'd have to get, let's just, well, a, just well yeah, we're going to come down this line here, so we would just turn this around and come down like this here this. And what we do is just follow the edge of the board. And that this is essentially what we do on every building, but it's all the same work. It's just it's, they can they can reach it with an 80 foot boom on a so there's there's the installation pretty much what it is just magnified by the whole building. This is how we pick out the lights that we don't want to show. And the pattern that we would use would be based on experience. Basically, we'd be doing all the, on this building, we would be doing basically all the white boards. Sometimes we'll do the siding 
like this. And we might skip two or three laps of siding to make a pattern. We still have some challenges, but we can run so many more lights off of one power source. We don't have to worry about finding power every 20 feet on the building. Question about the lights, are those lights that you can buy at a typical store or are those special lights because of how long I'm they're a, running a, for? I think you can buy those at any, uh, all lights that are sold now are probably LEDs. They, I don't know if you can even buy a light bulb that's not an LED. But the big Christmas stores like Christmas Inn and Christmas, that's all they sell. And these, you can buy, they're, they're available just as, we're, the ones we're showing you are available right off the shelf, I'm sure. They may not be the same length, as the 50, we use 50 light strands normally. It's so cool to see how they do it around that door frame using that staple gun she had. You want to see what it really looks like with the lights on the building? Come out to County Fair, because they have already started. It may be hard to tell, but out here at the antique photos that they take in County Fair area, now you can see the lights, these are all red, and these are all clear. When he was talking, he mentioned about how they definitely do detailing in their lighting. And I mean, look at this like lattice type design, if that's what you call it. But see how the wire even goes all the way around instead of just straight across. It's that attention to detail. And remember what they said about the lights, they wanna make sure all the lights are pressed up against the wood. You wanna see how they get to the top and how they get all those lights up on the roof? Check out this next clip. So much Dollywood for showing us the Christmas lights coming up. We just love that time of year. It, yeah, if you guys have not been or seen Dollywood Smoky Mountain Christmas, the light is unbelievable. It's no wonder they win award after award yeah. every year. Yeah, that golden ticket award is worth it. And I tell you, you're gonna see videos, you're gonna see photos, but until you see it in person, there is nothing Hi, like Mom. it. Oh. <laughs> hey, Caleb! <laughs> so, with that said, if we you... had a cameo appearance from a conductor. Um, yeah, what else did you want to say? Well, if they haven't hit that like and subscribe <gasps> yet. What are you waiting for? Because you never know where we're going to end up next. And as we always say, make each and every day, including those with pumpkin adventures, an adventure, adventure that, that rocks. rocks. I wonder if they'll sing about our adventures. Think we can convince them? <laughs>